one of our assistants in you know collecting the DR forms and so on. Um, he will just narrate what happened, I guess, from last night and here as of this morning. Okay, so we just uh, gather some energy and we talk to the media. My name is Andrew Natumanya. Everyone calls me Tabs. Yeah, I'm uh, the lead photographer for Honor Chagrani. Yeah. So last night at around 8 p.m. I was going to meet Gordon to deliver to him DRA forms for Usoga sub region that I had gathered from our contacts in Usoga sub region. My, the boot of our car was full with DRA forms. I, I did not count how many they were. So I got in touch with Gordon. Uh, we agreed to meet uh, at a specific location. So I drove towards that location and at a certain point I parked to meet Gordon after realizing, uh, after seeing the car that he had told me he was in. Uh, so he drove ahead and, and, I, and, told, uh, and directed me to follow him to where, we were, where he was parking. So immediately when I parked the car, in a very short while, the whole entire car was surrounded with armed people. They weren't in uniform. They coached all their guns and, and ordered me to move out. I resisted a little bit and that's where the, the beat started from. They beat me, dragged me out of the car and put me in a different car. It was a double cabin. I hope my colleague Gordon got the number plate. So inside the, the car, they folded, they made sure they bent us and started beating us and put us in under, like under the seat. Our heads were pointed under the seats and they drove us at a very fast speed. After I think like 30 minutes or so, they parked and got us out of the car. That's when we realized we were at Chira Road Police. There, in a short while, they our cars were driven into the station also and didn't take even 10 minutes. They came, handcuffed us together, checked the cars, they made sure they did not touch the boot. So they got some DR forms, put them on us and took pictures. While we were handcuffed with the DR forms inside Gordon's car. So later, a, a gentleman came and told them separate them. They, sep they, they removed the handcuffs from me and handcuffed Gordon, put me on other handcuffs, covered my head, put me in the car and drove off. I cannot know where they drove to, but they really drove for a long time, maybe an hour or so. At, at a certain point they stopped, put, pulled me out of the car, and led me to somewhere I cannot know. There they were really beating me seriously and asking me what I have to discuss with Bobby Wine every time we talk on phone. I told them I don't usually talk to Bobby Wine unless he's calling me that we go and for, for events or campaigns. And I told them my accreditation was, was refused, was denied, so I could not film Bobby Wine anymore. But they insisted and said, even today, meaning yesterday, you have been talking to Bobby Wine and the wife. At that point, one of the gentlemen said he is not going to talk. Boyainam amagezi manji muteke kesawa. That is when they put something on my arm that felt like, like, like I had been connected to electricity. My whole entire body was shocked for some time. And from that time when I tried to hold something, my whole entire body keeps shaking. So they beat me and asked yeah. me what, they asked me where Bobby Wine, what Bobby Wine is planning. I told them I don't have any of his plans. 
told them my only role is to take photos. They asked me where I put the photos that I collect. I told them I give them to the to, to Bobby White. Then they left me at, at after some time. They handcuffed me. They shifted the handcuffs and put them at the back. They tied my hands from the back and left me there. Even when you tr when I could try to touch, I it was a, I think like a big room. So from there, they, they in the morning they came. Inside the room, it was visibly still dark. They put off the, 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 the hood and the gentleman asked me, do you know me? Told him I do not know you. He put back the hood and held my hand and led me to a car. From there, they drove and came to Chira Road. In Chira Road, they just put me on, the, the, the guy removed his handcuffs and handed me over to the police officers there who handcuffed me again and drove me to my residence. They turned everything upside down and took whatever was of their interest. On the search, on the search form, they only wrote that they picked my computer. But they took everything, the cards of my camera, my camera, the DR forms that were in the car, I'm told they are no longer there. Every recording equipment they found at my home, they took it. Up to now, even my phones, they took them. Also, the ones that I had not been using over time that they found at my home, they took them. Then later, they drove me to old Chira, the other old Chira of Namugongo, where they signed forms. I do not know which ones. Then they brought me again to here, opposite Kabera Country Club drove me down, that's where I found Gordon. They just, when I reached, they told me to sit and record a statement. I recorded my statement and another gentleman came in, came in with bond forms and told me sign here. Also Gordon had been given his and he signed. Then they, from there they drove us to Chira Road. From Chira Road police, they just, they didn't even take us into the police station inside. They just told us, pick your cars and go. So we came with Gordon. I could hardly drive, but I drove at a very slow speed to there. From there, they only to, we came to Gordon's house, and in a very short while, the detectives were back. They found us talking on phone with Mama Solo. Mama Solo is Bobby Wine's wife. And they also took the phones they found there. So we cannot know whether they are still following us or not. All I can tell you is that we are not safe at all.